I suck. I am literally the absolute worst and I will show you why. Do you realize now, every time I make a thrift video, I say that I'm like not gonna buy as much stuff next time and that I'm gonna like be more minimalist. And then I have a boatload of stuff here. So let's get through it. Let's see if we can get through it before my camera dies. Even though there's a bunch of stuff, I'm gonna try to go like a little bit quicker. This stuff is over the past month. So like I know that I post thrift videos and it seems like they're like one right after the other but this stuff was all accumulated over the course of July and it's now August. Some of this stuff I got like literally at the beginning of July while I was on vacation in Arkansas. And whenever I go on vacation somewhere and I thrift, I'm like in the zone. Like it just works so well for me. Yeah, so a lot of stuff from Arkansas when I was there, a lot of stuff from state sales and that I'm gonna be giving to my sisters and then I went to like a beach town just a little bit ago. I live in central Florida, but I was like over in Vero and I went to this thrift store and it was just like amazing to me. So I got a lot of stuff there. So let's get started. The first two things that I got, I was pumped about. These are from an estate sale. I saw these on the estate sale website before I went and I was like, I need to go specifically for those things. It is a Dooney and Burke purse. It's actually two of them, okay? I got two of them. They're the exact same, but this one's black and brown and this one's like white-ish tan and brown. I specifically went for this one because I really, really wanted this. I've been looking for a Dooney and Burke purse. I've been obsessed with them forever. I love like looking at them. They're just so nice. I love them. And I saw that they were gonna have them at this estate sale and I went, as soon as they opened Friday, I was like standing in line waiting for the estate sale to open so I could go right there and like grab these. They were $49 each, which is like a lot of money to spend on a purse, but they're doonies and they're beautiful and I love them. Um, this one is for me and it was my sister's birthday. So this one is going to her. She lives in California and I don't trust any shipping service to ship this to her. So I'm waiting until she comes to visit at the end of the month to give this to her, but I am pumped. So excited for these. They're just absolutely beautiful, so well made. This one's a little bit dirty, but that one's gonna be mine anyway, so it's okay. And I'm so excited. At that same estate sale, there was this purse that I saw. I didn't see it on the website, but it was just like a cute little green color. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you know I'm obsessed with green. The handles are a little like wonky, but I thought it was a cute shape. It's like a little baguette purse. And then I see this on the side. Um, it says Prada on it. It was seven dollars it's definitely not real Prada like when you look at the stitching up close and you just like feel the fabric it's definitely not Prada but it's super cute anyways and the fact that it says Prada is just like fun I really don't know if I'm gonna use it or not um, because of the way that the handles are like they're just kind of mm. but I think it's super cute if I did want like a little tiny bag this would be great, um, but I might sell it on Depop because I was just like in the moment, you know, I had the rush of the Doonies and then I saw this and it said Prada and the lady was like, it's $7 and I was like dying. It was probably a mistake purchase because I don't think I'm gonna use it. Um, next thing I got was this awesome sweatshirt. It's this like big, kind of like golden mustard yellow. It says Melbourne on it. It's like embroidered and it's just super soft. I don't think it's ever been worn. So yeah, I got that. I thought it was pretty cute. Oh my goodness, I love these. These are the softest things ever. These little like 80s kind of shorts. They're like sweat shorts and they're just super, super soft. Very cute, super cozy and like good vibes. I also got these little like athletic 80s style shorts. Um, they're this green color. I think they're so cute. They're super comfortable. They actually have like pockets that are decent. They could definitely be pajama shorts. I mean, they're kind of like old and paled a little bit. So they would make really good just pajama shorts. But with this like fruit shirt, they are so cute for like a very casual outfit, but they're very, very cute. So I would wear them out. They're just great multi-purpose shorts, you know? Okay, I got this button-up shirt. It's like a women's button-up shirt. 
and I thought the pattern was kind of cute like it looks like it's patchwork but it's all one material and it's kind of sheer which I thought is super cute great for summer and great for Florida fall I think the colors are very fall but I know that sheer tops have been like a trend this summer so I just thought it was great a great like layering piece to throw on over something so it's like a jacket without being too heavy um, but it just adds like some color and some interest to an outfit so I really like that okay this I love I think it's such a cute little red skirt it's like dry fit almost material and it's a skirt so like it looks like a skirt but there are shorts inside of it which is awesome I hate wearing skirts especially like mini skirts I love the look I hate wearing them because I feel like my butt's always out and wearing a skirt I know that my butt's not gonna be out because even if people can like see my butt it's in shorts so love this such a good vibe i got this at the same place that i got the yellow sweatshirt and i was like if i wear them together i could be like totally mcdonald's you know i got this dark green tank top i love dark green anything green is my favorite color but this dark green specifically is my favorite color um it's long and a little bit like boxy and kind of gross looking right now so probably we'll try to do something with this to make it fit better if you have any suggestions let me know I'm gonna be like all over Pinterest trying to find something maybe just taking in the size and cropping it would be enough but we will see I don't know why I got these I really shouldn't have um it's kind of hard to see but they are a long suede short too small for me I'm pretty sure I haven't tried them on yet too small but they're like elastic in the back so I could probably squeeze into them and they're just very long they definitely could be a cute fall piece but is it really my style no i don't know what else i would wear this with so these are probably going to my sister or to my depop i was just like in arkansas and i was like i will never get these shorts again i'll never see them again and i didn't need to buy it but i did so here they are i got this super cute little yellow shirt it's got like the buttons at the top it's just very soft and i think it could be could make a good outfit you know it kind of reminds me of like brandy melville tops and just like a nice simple t-shirt to throw on with an outfit but since it has like the buttons it's got a bit more of a vibe to it you know like it just looks a little bit more put together than a t-shirt and i'm always looking for things that are like that then i got these jeans look at the color of these jeans first of all so cute they've got the distressed ends which are one of my favorite things they are the gap girlfriend fit jeans I do have like a rip in them not a rip that's supposed to be there but like somebody just ripped their pants which honestly is fine i think they're very cute they're a little bit too big around the waist but nothing that a belt can't fix you know and i just really like these i'm always looking for like oversized or just like comfortable fitting jeans so these were them and again two dollars like i couldn't pass that up then the same place i found those jeans I found these white jeans now they're not like denim jeans and they're from Talbots they're stretchy very comfortable again the waist is just a little bit too big but with a belt they would be perfect um the problem with these this material just like attracts dog hair and lint and everything else so I've been looking at buying these jeans from I don't know how you pronounce this brand's name it's like Chacao I found them on TikTok and I've been obsessed with all of their clothes since I've been wanting to buy these jeans and I haven't because I just didn't really want to spend the money and it's definitely something that I can make myself so with these white jeans I'm gonna be making these jeans with like the faces on them and I'm very excited I just have to work up the courage to do that so that's what these are gonna end up looking like because once they look like that I feel like it'll distract from all of the lint that shows up okay this next thing is sweater vest I thought it was a pretty cute sweater vest I like the brown um, normally I hate brown but this brown and tan just looks really nice I don't know what color pants to wear with it like just like jeans I I'm, I'm really not sure about the pant vibes but it kind of solved that for me because it came as a set with this skirt now the skirt is very very long gonna be too big for me it's like the elastic is worn out so it was probably like that big originally but the elastic is worn out so it's just kind of like flopped there um i mostly got the set for the sweater vest but now that i'm not in arkansas i just don't love it i think it's kind of 
boring, but we'll see. Maybe once I like put it on and try to style it in an outfit, it'll look better. We got this little combination there. This dress, which I'm kind of obsessed with. It looks so comfortable. It's like this denim look, long dress, and then it has the handkerchief kind of bottom. So it's longer in the front, shorter on the sides, and it just looks so flowy and comfortable. I think for like a swimsuit cover up, or like you're just throwing on something to go to the grocery store and you don't want to wear pants, this is like the perfect outfit. Kind of reminds me of like a hippie art teacher, which is what I'm hoping to be one day. Just like a really fun hippie art teacher. Another sweater vest, despite living in Florida, but school's starting and what's more school than a sweater vest? So this one is this red sweater vest. It looks just like a yellow one that I have, but this one is from a store and the yellow one that I have is from, it was like handmade. That's it. It's, it's red. I thought it was cute. I got these blue pants. Could totally wear it with the red top and do like a little thing, you know? And I just thought these were very, very cute. Again, they're elastic. They're a little bit too small on me. Um, just like the elastic around my waist is like, a little too tight so when you take it off it leaves a mark which i don't love that but they're cute loving like monochrome outfits but in colors so not like black and white but like blue on blue on blue or like green on green on green but i'm just loving like colorful outfits so i love the blue shorts for that i got this shirt which i think is so fun it's this like cropped short sleeve shirt and it has noah's ark on it with like a bunch of animals so let's see looks like there's i can't tell if those are bunnies or if they're sheep it's got pigs and cows and camels and deer with a little chickadee on it there's rabbits but those also look like rabbits so i'm guessing those are probably sheep those are bunnies more cows more sheep maybe those are goats ducks and a cute bee i just thought this was adorable I loved it and so I got it. Plus this with like mom jeans or like mom jean shorts, so cute. I do have mom jeans and I do have mom jean shorts. However, right by where that shirt was were these shorts, which are so freaking cute. So cute, very long, a lot longer than any of the other shorts I have, which I thought I was gonna like and I ended up really not liking it. So I will be cutting them and making them slightly shorter. They're just like too, much of Bermuda shorts like they go to the knee and I don't want things at my knee so I'm gonna like chop them off I think I'm gonna leave them with like the strings hanging down because I do like that vibe look at this green shirt this green would match so many things like that Prada purse would it actually though yeah like look at that that would go so well together they're slightly different shades but they're like the same hue and I just really liked it. It's kind of a weird fabric. I think I can get over that. It says it's rayon and nylon. So it like, it just feels a little weird, but as long as your hands are moisturized, I think it should be fine. Um, and I just think it's like perfect the way it is. I really like this one. Everybody's telling me this jacket was a mistake, but I have a video that this jacket will be featured in. Um, I kind of hate it, kind of love it. It's very, very interesting. The lady who worked at the thrift store donated this jacket and so when I was looking at it she was like that used to be mine oh my goodness I loved that jacket I just have so many like it so that one was one that I had to donate since I have like 10 others just like it and I was like that's amazing and she was like you would look amazing in it and I was like I would so I had to buy it because I was like chatting up this old lady and I can't just like put one of her things back but it was two dollars so i don't regret it um the brand is called tantrums and if that's not me i don't know what is so very very busy on the front a little bit less busy on the back because it's just like the same pattern from the sleeves hopefully this was not a mistake i am obsessed with these next pants these were definitely handmade by somebody there's no tag on them and looking inside it just looks like my kind of sewing project these are them they are like loose flowy red and white pants i think these are just so cute they're very flattering a little bit tight at the top but we're working on it we'll you know get it sorted out and i thought this with like a white tank top or even that red sweater vest would make the cutest outfit i am just kind of obsessed with these very like 
70s style. Love that. Um, look at this purse. Look at this cute little chain with plants on it. There's plants on the purse. It's adorable. It was $2 and I had to have it. Oh, we're running out of battery. I don't want to run out of battery. Okay, very quickly. L.L. Bean shorts. So cute. Going to my sister. I got a second pair of L.L. Bean shorts. I got this, which is going to be in a thrift flip because it's kind of horrendous. It's like this medium length long sleeve shirt and I love the pattern, but it's too much. So we're going to, we're going to fix it and there's sequins all over it and we got to get rid of those. Look at this really cute nineties, like sweater. It's a zip up sweater. And I thought it was so cute. Reminded me of Dawson's Creek. This linen dress. Oh my goodness. I got it for a dollar super super cute um love linen so comfortable for the summer especially when it's so hot i love the pattern i don't know if i want to keep it like this as a dress my mom is obsessed with how it looks right now but it's not i don't know like i feel like i could do something better with it i'm obsessed with this sweater i had one saved just like it on pinterest and thought i was gonna have to like diy it but i don't the sleeves are a little bit too short for my legging but that's okay we'll deal with it because the rest of the sweater is just like absolute vibes this dress again only a dollar it's green it's kind of like tie-dye hawaiian print and it just looked so comfortable and soft i thought it was very very cute fish sweater like neon colored fish embroidered onto a sweater i think this is going to be too small for me because it's like a size medium petite and I am not petite. My sister is. She's like a size small, medium petite. So this would look amazing on her and then it can stay in the family. This long sleeved, somewhat sheer LL Bean top. Again, it could be for me, but I'm gonna give it to my sister that I'm gonna give the LL Bean shorts to just cause I think that they would fit her better and look nicer on her. Calvin Klein black flared like metallic jeans. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with these. They're pressed down the front and they're just like stunning. They do not fit me. They're somewhat low rise, but my sister grew up in like the early 2000s. So she's used to low rise jeans and these are just gonna look amazing. I cannot wait to put her in an outfit and have her wear these. These green jeans, obsessed with them. Gonna keep them as is, just like plain green because I love this color. Plus with the, like the green tops or even like this fruit top, it's gonna be so cute. Um, the waist is a little big, but everything else looks perfect. And then I got the same pants, but they're blue. They're literally the same brand, same size, everything the same, but they're blue. And I'm just not sure how I feel about the blue. Another somewhat sheer button down top. It's like orange and red. It's a little bright, um, but I think it's kind of cute, especially for fall. I thought it would be adorable, so. We got that. This like lingerie, like silky top. I think it's so stinging cute. It's so soft, very, very comfortable. It's got this little lace detail in the front, too big. So we're gonna take it in on the sides and I'll probably leave it long. I don't really wanna cut it, but we'll just take it in on the side. So it's not like, I got this like creamy white sweater. It's so soft. It's like long sleeves and it's got little scallop edge at the bottom. I love the little detail of the edge, even though it will probably be tucked into my pants so you won't see it. I like that it's there. It's just nice knowing. Um, it's just so soft. I love it. Next, I got these amazing green like women's suit pants and they're so soft, super comfortable. They're elastic and they're like just nice and long and like tapered at the bottom very very cute with that like silky top i think it's gonna be such like a boss girl kind of vibe but in like a stylish and slightly intimidating way i'm very excited for that i got this tank top it's like a multicolored green top the design on it is pretty fun i think the closer you look at it the more it looks like coral columbia sportswear but like it doesn't feel like sportswear it just feels like a soft tank top. This one is foxy, just like that other green one. So I'm going to take it in and crop it, but like actually like sew it because I'm trying to be professional with my stuff. This will look amazing with those green jeans. I cannot wait for this. That was everything I got. I know it was a lot. I'm slightly ashamed 
I should be more than slightly ashamed. Help me decide with some of these things. Do I paint them? Do I not paint them? Do I sell them on Depop? Do I keep them? Like that plant purse? That's an amazing purse. It has plants on it. Who doesn't want that? Like this green Prada bag. Do I keep it? Because it like matches the green everything that I have or do I just sell it because I'm probably not going to use it and I have two other green purses already. It's rough trying to be so stylish all the time. I say as I'm wearing a literal like hand painted fruit shirt from a grandma's closet. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.